I came into Uprose because I felt pretty harshly the effects of gentrification in the neighborhood and I wanted to align my skills with a local organization that needed the assistance and um, that was fighting to, you know, protect the residents of the neighborhood. I walked my daughter to school in the morning until uh, she until she switched schools. Um, you know, I have friends who uh, are still living in um, Tennessee where I grew up, and none of them can say that, you know. Um, the parks in Sunset Park are amazing and, you know, our friends are here and my parents met on 47th Street it, or 43rd Street. It's like really strange. It's like, you know, it's just such a deep feeling of home. And I mean, I've lived here, I'm 44 years old and I've lived in Sunset Park longer than anywhere in my entire life. It's home. I think that one of my greatest memories in Sunset Park is really the block that I grew up on. Um, I grew up on 52nd and 6th and there was just like a crew of kids like around my age and we would have block parties and snowball fights. I've grown up in Sunset Park ever since I was little. I moved here recently back in January of 2018 to East Flatbush because the rents were starting to raise in my apartment and so we left. But Sunset Park is still my home no matter what. It was crazy to see how all these real estate people and contractors were talking about Sunset because they don't really know Sunset. They're just like paid people to come here and try to change everything, but they don't really know the real Sunset. They've never eaten at a restaurant. They've never seen the park when the sun is setting. They've never done any of these things. I want to keep the culture of Sunset and keep it to what I grew up with so other people and other kids can grow up how I did. I remember like three years ago, um, you know, I like to keep the windows open in the house. And um, I remember I was doing something in the front of the house and I heard people walking by and I heard dude on the sidewalk. And it was just such a weird, strange moment. Um, like I looked at a friend of mine who was with me. I was like, oh no, this is happening now. It, Cause it was just, when, it, when I started hearing more English than Spanish on the street, that's when I knew that things were uh, starting to change and in pretty harsh ways. Sunset's like one of the most unique neighborhoods in Brooklyn because we're so different culturally and we're so diverse from everybody. We're, we have our own um, Chinatown in Sunset where we have a big Asian community where you can get like the best like Vietnamese sandwiches, bubble tea, everything you can imagine. It's so good. I think displacement is a really personal issue for me because I grew up in Sunset Park and being able to go to the middle school here and my elementary school here going home that same route that I used to go to as a kid, all the stores I used to stop to has shut down, which really essentially means that my childhood memories are only in my brain. But, you know, as we get older, we sort of lose a lot of that childhood memory. But walking that route, you can almost remember, oh my God, Unicorn was right here. That CD making shop was here. Me and my best friend was in this shop for hours listening to Kevin Little turn me on. And so, yeah, but these shops and businesses are no longer there, and it's disappointing. I wish that my family can grow up in Sunset Park the way I did, and um, but I can't afford it here. And my parents were also displaced from Sunset a long time ago, and yeah, even like Chinatown in in on Eighth Avenue is being heavily gentrified, right? It's being targeted, and I think it hits home because. I was born in China, so where I grew up in China was this really, really small town. And I remember from my grandfather's funeral, when we went home to celebrate his life, the whole town came out and everyone came to celebrate. But now, I was telling someone the other day, I'm scared to go back to China because I'm worried about how it kills my memory of it. And 
working here and doing this kind of work, I feel like I'm fighting for my community, but I'm also at the same time trying to fight for my grandfather's community where he grew up. And the way that Industry City is going to displace industry jobs that are prevalent and are really the heart of Sunset Park. Um, Uprose has taught me a lot about frontline communities, especially those like Sunset Park in Brooklyn um, who are really getting the brunt of climate change and the brunt of gentrification and issues that are not our fault but are being pushed onto us. Well, I first came to Sunset Park with my friend from high school, Gabby. She lived on 48th Street and um, we went. The first place we went was the actual park and I'd never been to Sunset Park before and I just, it was nice. I liked it a lot. Um, and my one of my favorite spots was Fifth Ave with all the like all the food places and they have these great dumplings that you guys should try. But um <laughs> and I remember seeing like a little Chinatown and I didn't know that there was a Chinatown in Brooklyn until I had came to visit Gabby on Sunset Park. And so a lot of my memories are tied to Gabby. But the point is I grew to love Sunset because I was always in it, always with my friends and always like just hanging out in the pier and the park, but over there is beautiful. Um, but I also noticed that now a lot of the people who were living here aren't able to live here anymore. Um, Gabby has moved <laughs> away, actually. But um, it really, over the years, over the past maybe three or four years, I've just noticed a huge shift and Working at Uprose has helped me to figure out what the best way is to handle that shift and make it so that it doesn't continue to shift. One of the main campaigns that we're working on against displacement is called PAWA. It's Protect Our Working Waterfront Alliance. And what it is is a coalition made up of different organizations, um, Sunset Park residents, and also small businesses that's here. And it's really it's really a group of folks who are really concerned about what Industry City is doing to Sunset Park and how it's changing the demographic here. There's a lot of families that's in our coalition that has either lost a job or their rents are hiking and they're worried about losing their home. So they really want to feel like they have some power in a community. And the truth is, everyone does, right? If you live in our community, if you work here, if you own a business here, if you go to school here, you have power. And our main goal is to make a leaderful coalition so that way when it comes to rezoning, they know that they have a voice and they feel that power.